Hello, everyone. This is Latia for you coming today with another scripture from the Lord. We are in Genesis chapter 7, verse 12, Genesis chapter 3, verse 12, and Luke chapter 13, verse 10. Let's go ahead and pray and we can get started. Dear Lord Jesus, thank you so much for this word. Thank you for leading us and guiding us into all truth through your Holy Spirit. Help us to continue to stay in your ark of safety. In the name of Jesus, we pray. Amen. All right, you guys. Genesis chapter 7, verse 12. And rain fell upon the earth 40 days and 40 nights. All right. And so that 40 days, um, that number 40 in the strong skin coordinates means holiness. Um, and so that holiness, that purification, that that set apartness is is occurring um because the wrath of God is being poured out and a a certain group is being separated from that wrath right all right and so that that group um Noah um it, it represents the way the bride will be set apart and how the wrath of God is going to be poured out on the entire earth now it won't come as a flood anymore and it won't destroy all people um at the same time but it will be just the wrath of God poured out um the way it's mentioned in the book of revelation and um God is going to cause a a, a separation, right? Uh, uh, those who are set apart will be in the ark of safety. All right. And so the second verse, um, Genesis chapter three, verse 12, the man said, the woman whom you gave to be with me, she gave me fruit of the tree and I ate. All right. And so here we know this is Adam and he's speaking to God after having hidden himself. Um, he is now uh, speaking to God about what happened. Right. And so, of course, he's kind of playing the blame game here. He he's he first um, kind of accuses God because God is the one who, who gave him the woman from his side and um then he's he's in a way he's also blaming her as well um and he's not really taking any of the blame he's not insisting that he had any choice in the matter he's saying the woman whom you gave to be with me she gave me fruit of the tree and I ate and so not even um admitting that um I, he had a choice in the matter and so um, that is a, a reflection of the way man will be um, after the tribulation begins, right? After the shift occurs, right? Um, once the Holy Spirit is removed and, and the uncovering occurs, people are going to begin to play the blame game, right? Those who um, are, are um, supposed to be in place are supposed to be the wise bride. Many of them will blame others, blame, blame spouses, blame um, their lifestyle, the, the lifestyle that they f feel might have been forced upon them um or or the way that they were brought up or the job that they had anything to take the um and many of them will blame god and we know that too because the book of revelation explains that how they were cursed god um and and you know even when the wrath is being poured out instead of crying out to god they're going to curse him um and so the the woman um the um, not the woman the man adam um when he is is going through this great shift in his lifestyle in in the the way things feel the way, the normal standards that he is used to having and he's being separated from that thing um he is he is feeling some kind of way, right? But instead of seeking God about it, instead of getting on his face and repenting, many people will blame others and they will blame God. All right. And so um, the third um, verse um, that the Lord gave me was Luke chapter 13, verse 10. Now he was teaching 
in one of the synagogues on the Sabbath. All right. And so um, this is um, Jesus. He's in the, the synagogue. He is teaching the people just before he ends up healing the woman on the Sabbath. And so this is actually a um, reflection of of the wise, those who, not the wise bride, but the, those who are in the tribulation who cleanse their garments, right? Um, they will find the Lord, right? They will find their, their place of work, their place of safety in the Lord, right? And, and being around the teachings of God, being in, um, the place that God has placed them and, and this during the Sabbath where others, um, the wise bride, um, might've found rest. Um, they will be doing the work, right? They will be actually in the place of, of, of the teaching in the place of learning in the place of, of, of doing the work, um, the good deeds, um, by grace through faith. Well, not by grace through faith, by, um, having their actions now, um, is the point of accountability, right? Because remember, through this time, um, the people are not under that same grace, right? So they're they're not under grace, right? And so their faith has to be shown, and and so they they do have the gift that God has given them. And, and the gift that, that God, um, is, is of salvation. They can still be saved, right? They can cleanse their garment. They can, um, um, be around other believers. They can sacrifice their lives, right? But they're not going to have that grace of, of Jesus cleansing their garments for them, right? They're going to have to do it manually themselves. And so, you know, whereas it's the Sabbath and others have rest, they are going to be having work, right? They're going to uh, be under the teaching. And, and this is something just interesting to look at, because if you look through Luke 13, it, it begins to talk about, um, um, you know, the fact that Christ was loosing this woman from her bondage, even while the, you know, people who were listening to the teaching, they would be willing to, to lose an ox. They would be willing to lose a donkey, right? And so while others may be, um, staunch about the rest. Um, he was staunch about the work. He was staunch about doing, um, the things that needed to be done while it was still time. And, and for those people who do make themselves ready, they're going to have very short amount of time to, to work for the Lord, to do his will, right? Even while the, the bride is at rest. Amen. All right, you guys, let's pray. Thank you, Father God, for your word, Jesus. Thank you for your holiness. Thank you for your truth. We love you, Lord. Father God, we give you all the glory, all the honor, all the praise. We love you, Lord. Forgive us for all of our sins. Help us to walk in your ways and do your will, Lord God, so that we can enter into that rest. In Jesus' name we pray. Amen. All right, you guys, take care and be blessed.